to y'all, but I feel so guilty when I hear our offertory music. It's so beautiful. I feel like, where do you hear music like that and not have to pay for it? <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, now for the young and for the old, Miss Buffy will have story time. The story is called When God Moves. In the 1800s, that was a while ago, the Spirit of God was moving over all the world. Jesus wanted everyone to know that he was coming back soon to earth to take all his people home to heaven. Praise the Lord. He still wants to do that. He wanted the people here in America to know he was coming. So he raised up a man called William Miller. Have you heard of him? Yeah. And uh, he started preaching about Jesus coming back. just in America. Remember? He wanted the whole world to know. So in South America he used a man named Lacunza. And, uh, and in Europe there was another man named Joseph Wolf. He started giving, Jesus gave the message all over the world. People all over the world were learning Jesus is coming back soon. But far off in a little country in northern Europe called Sweden, there was a problem. See that little thing up there? Sweden's a little country way up there. Sweden was ruled by King Charles, and he was really not a nice king at all. And he did not love Jesus and wasn't interested. He passed a law saying that preachers could not tell all the people about Jesus coming or they would be arrested and put into prison. But Jesus loves the people of Sweden too, you know, and he wanted them to know that he was coming back soon, so he did a miracle. Because the pastors were not allowed to tell people in the church about Jesus coming back, Jesus did something very unusual. Little children would be happily playing with their toys when suddenly the 
the Spirit of God would come over them and they would stand up and begin to preach. Some of the children were only five to seven years old. Even though they could not read, they began quoting scriptures right from the Bible. God was using young people of all ages. Two teenage boys, ages 18 and 15, began to travel around the country telling people Jesus was coming back soon. They, the older boy was using the people, was urging the people to repent and get ready for the day of the Lord. He was preaching with his whole heart because he really loved Jesus. But soon he was arrested and he was beaten and thrown into a terrible, dark, cold prison. But he prayed for Jesus to be with him and keep him strong and faithful, just like Daniel. His friends outside were praying too. God heard their prayers and worked a miracle in the king's palace. King Charles, the main king, he died. And his son Oscar became uh, the new king. But Oscar was a good man. He was a nice king. And uh, he changed that law and he made it legal, okay, for pastors to start preaching again, talking about Jesus. And he also ordered that nice young man to get out of jail. Everyone was so thankful that God answered their prayers, aren't we? Yeah. Young, the young teenage preacher was set free to preach once again, and he faithfully taught about Jesus the whole rest of his life. He and all those who preached about Jesus soon coming back then made it possible for us to know about it now. Isn't that wonderful? So we too can be ready. This is a true story, and this is the book it came from. You can read all about it. Um, it's called The Great Second Advent Movement. And if anybody wants to know where to get it, talk to our friend Richard or Ricky Kearns over here. He runs the Adventist Pioneer Library, and he will help you get this, because this is really a good book. You will enjoy it. And remember all the time that no matter how young or old you are, Jesus wants to use you to tell people he's coming back really soon. When you give your life to Jesus, he will surely use you too. <laughs> Praise the Lord for all you wonderful grandchildren. <laughs> Would you like to pray for us? Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for everything we've been doing. May you help us learn about Jesus more. Amen. Amen. Amen.